Hello there, and thank you for joining me today with your Mango Voice tutorial. My name is Tyler, and today we're going to be talking about the conference room. Uh, conference rooms are pretty cool. It allows multiple people to join in the same call, and that way you can host a meeting with multiple people, you know, 10, 20 people all at the same time. And what we're going to do today is I'm going to show you how to create one, and then I'm going to show you how to set it up. There are a couple of different ways to set it up, and I'll go over all of those today. Now, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to come to our website, and we are going to need to log in. Then, on the left-hand side, we're going to find the Extensions tab and click on the plus button right there. Then, we're going to find the one that says Conferencing, and we're going to open that up. And then, of course, we're going to need to click on New Conference Room right up top. Once we click on that, it is going to get us the settings to create this conference room. Now, the first thing that we're going to do, of course, is name the conference room. We can name it whatever we want. I'm just going to leave it conference room. Then we're going to pick the extension that we want it to be. It's going to default to the 400 series. If you create a second one, it's going to go to 401, 402, etc. If these extensions are already being used, you will have to change it. But you can set that to any extension that you would like. Omit from directory. Now, what this means is if you omit it from the directory, no one's going to accidentally dial into your conference room if you allow them to dial the extension at any time. So if someone's trying to get a hold of your personnel by dialing their extension, if they accidentally dial the extension for the conference room, they will not accidentally enter that. If you want them to be able to dial that extension, you can select no, and then they'll be able to dial the extension and get right into that conference room. Then we're going to decide if we want to require a moderator. If we do require a moderator, the moderator is going to have the moderator pin, and you can set this pin up to be any four digit number you want. If they put in that pin, they will be the moderator. Now the conference pin is required if a moderator is required. If we were to change this to no, for example, we no longer need a conference room pin either. But we do want a moderator, so we're going to leave that on. And then our conference pin is required. Yes, I don't want just anybody to be able to enter my conference room. I want them to have this pin. That way only those who are authorized to be here can be in here. Again, we can change this to any four digit pin that we want. Now for our moderator pin, I'm going to go ahead and do one, two, three, four. And then for our conference room pin, since that can't be the same, we're going to go ahead and do five, six, seven, eight. Then our defaulted mute. So what this is going to do is all callers entering the conference room are going to be muted automatically. If they want to speak, they are going to have to dial zero first in order to speak. They'll, of course, be able to dial zero again to mute themselves again. Announce new participants. With this enabled, what's going to happen is... There's going to be a recording that plays at the very beginning for the person calling in. It's going to record the name of the person who's calling. And then it'll announce them when they enter the conference room by playing that recording back to everyone. The conference greeting. This is going to be a customized sound clip that you have recorded that will announce that it is a conference call to anybody who enters. Then our hold music. Now the hold music is only gonna play if there's only one person in that conference room. If there's at least two, then they'll be able to communicate. But if it's just one, they'll hear the hold music. Then we're gonna go ahead and create that conference room. Once that conference room is created, if we come back to our conferencing tab here, we'll see that conference room dash 400 right there. Now that we've created that conference room, I'm gonna show you how to set it up. There are a couple of different ways. The first is the My Numbers tab. If you have multiple phone numbers, we can designate one phone number to be that conference room number. It's just gonna go to that conference room. And by clicking the edit button here on the right hand side, and then the call endpoint, we can change this to any extension. So we can find the conference room extension 400. And if by changing it to that, Anybody who dials this number from now on will enter our conference room. We'll click update phone number to make sure that that gets saved. Now, the second way is in the switchboard. And we're going to go ahead and enter switchboard 1000. Now, this is how our call is going to flow every day. So what we're going to do here is we're going to make some room to get that conference call added. All right, now that we've made some room here, we're going to go ahead and find the object up top that says conference room. We're going to click on that and we're going to bring it over here to the right hand side. Now I've added an auto attendant here and what this auto attendant does is it allows them to select the option they want to do. So when your caller calls in for a conference, they're going to hear a little sound clip here that says push one to talk to our staff 
or push two if you're looking to get into the conference room. They'll push two, and that's going to bring them to the conference room. They'll have to put in that pin um, to be able to get in there, and then they'll be in that conference room ready to chat to everybody who's in there. Alternatively, with the auto attendant still, we can go ahead and allow extension dialing. Now, if you recall, we omitted this from the directory, so they won't be able to dial 400 to get into the conference room. But for the sake of this example, let's pretend that we didn't omit it from the directory. The benefit of this is we won't need to say options one or two. We can actually just disable these and remove them all together. Then every call that comes in, they'll just hear the sound clip which says, if you know your party's extension, dial it at any time. You'll dial 400 and go to the conference room. Anybody who doesn't dial a proper extension or just times out are gonna follow these lines here and ring your office per normal. That way all regular callers can still call in. And that's all it takes to use our conference room. It's very easy and very powerful, allowing multiple people to communicate simultaneously. Thank you for joining me today with your Mango Voice tutorial. And if this tutorial helped you today, I would appreciate it if you take a moment to like this video. And if you're interested in more tutorials, consider subscribing to our channel as we are going to be uploading more videos to help you with your Mango system.